Hey guys, welcome back. So, just showed you this kit on the last video. I uh, got it off eBay. A commenter mentioned that it had two complete kits in it. I didn't know that. And so that's what this video is all about. But I did look this up on Scalemates because I'd spoken of it in the haul video about how it probably came from really old stuff. And Scalemates, you know, again, it's it's not 100% accurate, but this says that that kit was new tooled in 2001. And if you do the full history, you get you get a lot of extra stuff that isn't real relevant to this kit that I can tell, but anyway, yeah. I don't know. New it it was new tooled. I I, I just I don't believe that. I don't think that's the case. But, maybe, but we're going to open up and see if there's more than one. You can build it four different ways. So, pickup truck, and and so I'm assuming this chassis is different. And so, yeah, maybe so. That's pretty darn cool. Because the commenter said, I'm sorry, I, I looked up, tried to find the comment. I can't find it. It's buried. But, um, they're like, that's great value because you get two. But, hey, check this out real fast. These box art artists are these, uh, look at that wheel. I mean give me a break can you could you have put that one on the other side or something you know big chip in it but anyway let's open this thing up and see if there's really two model kits or uh, the that you can build two full kits i think that the well i had heard at one point the old strap it box amt 25 ford t the old one from the 60s. I heard that you could build more than one out of that, but I, I haven't. I, I I couldn't find enough parts to build two. But anyway, maybe my kit's missing something. But I, this one can't be. Surely it's brand new. Let's see. All right. Oh, this is always cool. I know it's just 2001, but when you get these little pamphlets, pretty cool stuff. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Let's see how many chassises we got, and how many bodies we got. It's a bag chock full. And this is a dull bit blade. It won't hardly cut plastic. That's crazy. I've used it to scrape parts with for a long time. Okay, let's see what we got. I wanted to see the insides of it anyway. I love the old Model T. Pretty cool, but if you can build both, man, that would be awesome. Build the uh, hot rod too. I could look at the instructions and cheat, but let's do it the hard way. All right, so here's your, the rear portion for the, uh, probably either one of them. There's the old T, flathead four. And these are mostly the old Model T parts. I would just say, no, it's not new tooled. Just by looking at this stuff. But, I, I have been wrong before. My wife reminds me of that. Uh -huh. Alright, so these are... I don't even see that uh, barrel in the picture at all. Box art or anything. So that's probably from some other kind of kit. It does have some seat belts right there, looks like. Alright, so... There's your seats for your custom... And you seat for your not custom. There's a grill. Okay, so there's one grill. And there's a chrome grill. Okay, so here's your grill for your Model T, the, the original. And then here's a grill for your hot rod. It's a lot, it's like a chopped grill. I can see why they had a problem with those wheels because I don't know why they did that, but anyway, the way they had the sprue attached it would be easy to break it all right so there's two seats here is let's see is this a i'm, I'm thinking this is the possibly the chassis for the custom maybe 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 don't know here's some fenders or some other parts that don't look like it goes with this kit Peculiar. There's your Lincoln engine. 
and here are two other seats that it doesn't show in the box art bomber style seats I guess you'd call those I ain't seeing another chassis unless it's chrome there's not a chassis that I can tell I'm gonna have to look at the instructions because You've got to have a chassis. Oh, no, no. I already looked at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's the stock chassis. All right. So there's the stock chassis and the custom chassis. Also, oh, that does have a supercharger. I didn't realize that. It Lincoln supercharged. Kind of a funky looking supercharger. But it does have a supercharger. Okay, so we got the custom body, I think, here. And... Rut row. I don't see. That's got a hood. Maybe that's not the custom body. I don't think it has two bodies. I think this is the only body that comes with it. It is. There's your. Okay, there's your truck bed if you're going to make the Model T pickup truck. Or I guess hot rod pickup truck. I guess the barrels will be for the pickup truck. There's your Model T fenders and all that stuff. Roof. Two chassis. Here's your stock running gear. And in the bag. Didn't I see an axle? Surely it's chrome. Maybe it's not. It doesn't have like a rear view of the hot rod, but it it most definitely has a banjo style rear axle. Am I overlooking that too? There's one axle. I don't see another rear diff. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. 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 Quick change right there. There it is. So it's got a quick change. Okay. So there's two rear axles, front suspension. The fancy front whatever them bars are what are these things called you guys the two bars that go up front to the to the front axle right there what are those called I don't know all right so we got two chassis we got one body that could cause issues because if you had another body then you could definitely build two. Uh, it does have the gas tank under the seat where the Model T would have the gas tank. But yeah, no other chassis. All right, let me look at the instructions just to see. Uh, not chassis, body. Um, golly, it's a book. Let's see if there's a uh, custom um, body. I don't think so. Assembled body interior. And that is a. Uh... Yeah, I don't think it has a separate body for the other one. I guess I could see. Yeah, the the custom seat fits in the that body, and then. I guess your original would fit in there too. So yeah, only one body. Darn, that really stinks. I was really excited about that. Um, hmm. Okay, well, what can we do about that? Well, let me grab this other, let me look at this other AMT. I, I'll grab it off the shelf, be right back. All right, so this one I was talking about, I'd heard that this, you could build more than one out of it, but it does, looks like a similar, and this one is like 1962 or something like that. Very cool. From what I understand, this particular box, because if you notice, it doesn't say AMT. It doesn't have anything about AMT on it. It was like some kind of dealer promo, not promo, like they're not, obviously this isn't 1925, but like the dealer, four dealers offered this model kit or something like that. So, and I think it's got the most classic box art. But anyway, it's not what this video is about. I was going to see if this one might have 
a spare because if I built it, I would build the tall T. Tall T. Tall T. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. If this is the same as this. Holy cow. I got to get this off of here. Let me cut this off the sprue. Be right back. Again, sorry. Okie dokie. So I, cut, I always like to cut back a little bit when I cut. I don't cut right on the line because I want to be able to trim it. So take my Tamiya. These are the best cutters. Cut that off of there. And now let's compare. Dude, that is... Dude. Dude. That's the same thing. So obviously this kit is not retooled in 2001 because... Come on, focus. Come on. If it sees any little thing through the cracks of my fingers. So. I do see this has. No. Let's say it's got a little tab right there. No. That's where I just cut off the sprue. Uh, it does have. Okay. There is a little difference. This one has little door hinges. This one doesn't. Maybe it is new tooled. But. I'm pretty sure. This is the same body. And if I build the one as the tall T. I have, would have a separate. Body, let's see. Let's see if this fits in there just right. Okay, that fits in that one just right. And looks like there's a little interference with something here. Up front, possibly, no. Anyway, I think it's close enough. Okay, gotta get this. This stuff's bugging me. It's not wanting to focus. What else is new? So yeah, I think um, just by comparing these two, they look. Let's see if the height is the same. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, oh, you know what? I just noticed something. It only has. That's weird. It only has door hinges on one side. So see the little hinges right there and right there? And on this side, no door hinge. Why is that? And guess what? On this one, hinges, no door hinges. Okay, same thing. I just confirmed it. That's the same exact body. Okay, so cool. So if you have... Um, I mean, there might be some other missing parts too. I don't know, but I'm thinking, okay, let's check firewall real, firewall real fast. Is there a, okay, oh, uh, might be a problem. Got a firewall here. And, oh man, I don't see another firewall. Might be a custom firewall, maybe, maybe, come on. Maybe I'm just overlooking it again. We can make this work. Where's the firewall? Okay, there's some thick paper on these things. Okay, firewall number 20. That's the stock version. And... This is the custom version. Let's see if it's this. No, it doesn't. Where's the firewall installation? Hmm. It's almost like hey, you have to depend on part of the old... Oh, oh whoa, 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 look at that. Firewall 88. Okay. Uh, is it chrome? No firewall on here. Okay, let me look again. Oh, there it is right there. All right. Okay, so there's the separate firewall. It's a little, a little shorter. Okay, so got two firewalls, got two chassis, got two engines, got two bodies. You only got one hood because it's all you need. Um, let's see something real quick. Hey, look, this one has barrels in it too. Right there. And you can build a stock. Um, you can, well, here's a truck bed. 
I guarantee you this is the same kit. Where's the little truck bed at? I saw it earlier. Where'd you go? Right there. Same thing. Yep, so that's pretty cool. So this Model T is obviously this Model T is obviously that Model T. So that is awesome. Except you don't get the tall T. And uh, that is really, really neat. That wasn't what I was looking for a while ago. I wanted to see what, what was hanging off of there. The hood. The hood's still on a screw. I like, I, like, I like to look. Oh, man. Check it out. No way. No way. It's even got the same... Oh, this one has a um, the stock, and then look, custom. The same thing, man. That is that's something. They can sure fool, fool you sometimes with how they. You now the hood's off the the screw, but there's the hood. I was going to see. I like to compare the sprues to see if the sprue is still the same on the old kits. But anyway, I think I've uh, I think I figured out how you can build two kits. But if you do that, then you ain't going to build two out of this one. So maybe, but I don't think this kit has two chassis. I think it's got a single chassis. And I, of course, I could go through that and, and look. But I don't think you guys, there's one. It does have two. I, B, dog. This has the custom chassis too. So what's up with that? So this doesn't have, does it? Yes, it does. Holy cow. It's got the same darn kit in it. It's even got the Lincoln. Okay, that is something else. So, I just, this is amazing. I love this kind of stuff. This is the exact same kit as this. Except that one's way cheaper. This one is. Uh, these kits here, they're kind of pricey. Um, I ain't gonna lie. That They might go 50 bucks or so on eBay, but you're getting something that's classic and uh, the box art is amazing. So that is amazing. I said amazing two times in back-to-back -back sentences. Ridiculous, Matthew. I did ha had no idea about this. When I, when I did this video, I had no idea, no earthly idea that this was the same kit. This wasn't even, I wasn't, e this was not even on the radar, but I wanted to just check, see if I had an extra body. And what do you know? It's got all the same stuff. That is, that is something. And I, I'll be honest with you. The old chrome looks a ton better than the new chrome or the 2001 chrome. And it's probably cleaner too. Probably got flat up, but you don't have the Krager or Keystones or whatever wheels. That is not, golly, never mind. Yes, you do. You got everything except I got a broke radiator wing thing right there, but that's okay. Man amazing discoveries with these old plastic model kits too much fun this turned into something that i didn't expect okay all right guys well thanks for watching and um you can't build two model kits out of this one this one i guess you can because it does have you can build the tall t because you have a different body and um and then you can build the hot rod version out of here and then you can use the this one for this body still so yeah you can build four model kits out of these two kits wow cool all right does this have rubber this does this does not however yes it does it has rubber tires but check these rubber tires out from the 60s so these, instead of these type of tires, the old kit's got pie crusts. It's pretty neat. I didn't even know that. And uh, it's got the bomber seats. And uh, well, while we're on it, I might as well try this. Let me show you something. I think Mr. Don Franklin said that it can be done. And I might have done this on another video. And yes, this is now this video, this, this kit took over just a second. So there's the tall T. I think that's so classic looking. And if it, 
yeah there we go this one's had paint out before it looks like somebody stripped it I got this kit for twenty dollars but I didn't care if I had a little paint on or not it it'll be fine okay so the windows right I think I have mentioned this on another video yeah because Mr. Don Franklin mentioned something about it anyway I'm gonna try again he said if you get the window you can get the window in there now that window doesn't I just can't get this I mean it's wider than the body if you put it in there and kind of twist it it won't work so I, I I don't and, and it seems like to me man this focus thing is getting on my nerves seems like to me if you were to uh, spread the body it would break but he said you can get it in there. You you ain't getting it out. But you can get it in there. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, you you other guys. Mr. Franklin, I ain't second guessing you. I like you a lot. But I be dang. If I can figure out how that glass goes in there. And that is the glass for it, anyway. Alright, so. Enough, enough, enough about all that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. You are uh, wonderful. I've learned so much from your comments. I also learned from the comments just recently that um, I had the heads on backwards on this thing because this 426 Hemi that I'm offering, you see that angle right there? That's supposed to be up front. And guess what? You won't even believe this. I got the heads on upside down. I got to looking at it. The valve covers, these spark plug boots, should, they're offset, right? But they should be on the lower part. I've got the darn exhaust took to the intake uh, side of the heads i didn't even realize that still fit really well <laughs> still fit good but yeah i got i got back on my computer and started moving parts around and, and compare i'm like oh my goodness i've got the heads on upside down it wouldn't have ran very long that way but anyway you go check it out the parts are right i just put them on upside down uh, unfortunately with 3d printed stuff you don't get instructions so you got to kind of figure it out so anyway yeah mcvproducts.net and if you want to get yourself a model kit or some paint supplies and glues and sanding papers and all that kind of stuff even if you like model tanks and airplanes go to check out hobbynutmodels.com always linked in the description of the video and again mcvproducts.net that's mine uh, my business where you can go get yourself a nice flathead oops Flathead V8 for your uh, your uh, whatever your model Ford you want to, or you can put in a Chevy too. That'd be even better. Ford Flathead. Uh, go check out MCBproducts.net, and uh, I've been trying to add products uh, quite frequently, so there might be something new on there that you didn't see last time. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, again, did you put the windows in? Were they how in the heck? I thought maybe if I cut the windows, I'd get in easier. But anyway, this and this same exact model kit except for the rubber wheels the uh they didn't have goodyear uh what are these things goodyear somethings back in 1962 but they did have pie crust slicks and that's pretty cool all right guys take care and we'll see you soon all right bye